Sir, this is your third visit to Korea as the Chief of Staff of the Army. What are your thoughts on assignments in Korea, and what can soldiers expect from future assignments here? I spent the morning uh, up with the 2nd Inf Infantry Division. I had lunch with a group of soldiers, and I asked them that question, really. I said, what's it like here? What are you doing? Uh, and they said they, they do an awful lot of training. And what I told uh, the, the assembled folks at the 2ID Warfighter was uh, it's important to our Army that, that that kind of major conventional training that they're doing uh, it, it is important because they, uh, no one else in the Army is really doing that right now. You talked about <clears throat> troops training to support the war fight here in Korea. With uh, fighting going on in Iraq and Afghanistan, can uh, uh, troops expect to leave Korea to support that war fight? Uh, sure they can. I mean, everybody who's in the Army today uh, can expect to rotate to Iraq and Afghanistan, uh, you know, at, at some point in, in their career. And that includes troops leaving directly from Korea as well, sir? No, if going directly from Korea, uh, obviously it's a short tour, so, that, so they don't go directly uh, to another short tour. Sir, do you have any plans with your counterparts while you're here in Korea? Yeah, as a matter of fact, that's one of the, one of the reasons I am stopping here. Uh, is, is to meet General Lim, who's my counterpart. And this is, is one of the key countries uh, and armies that I try to make, maintain a personal relationship with uh, because this alliance uh, is so important not only to security here in Northeast Asia, but to our security in the United States.